Hello, Hello. Mr. Orby. Hello. Hello. I want to tell you about transverse waves. <laughs> There are seven electromagnetic waves and they are all transverse waves, which means they go up and down. Transverse waves have vibrations that are at 90 degrees to the direction that their energy travels. Examples of a transverse wave are a slinky spring. So this is a transverse wave. and water waves. Drawing the electromagnetic spectrum helps you to remember the order of the waves. I always start by drawing a large rectangle in the middle of my page. I create a central box which sort of makes the rectangle look like a belt with a buckle. I then split each side of the buckle into a further three boxes, which gives me seven boxes in total, one box for each wave. Visible light is central to most things I do in life, so this helps me to remember that visible light goes in the central box. I remember that white light is a mixture of all the colours of the rainbow, which is another spectrum. The word spectrum just means a range of similar things. The spectrum of colours are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. The order of the colours can be memorised by using a mnemonic. The mnemonic I use is Richard of York gave battle in vain. The colour with the longest wavelength is red. It has a length of 700 nanometers. The way I have drawn the spectrum is with the long wavelengths on the left. L for left, L for long, long wavelength. Violet is the colour with the shortest wavelength, 400 nanometers. So that goes on the right hand side of the visible light box. Next Next to the colour red is a wave with the word red in it, infrared. This helps me to remember that the electromagnetic wave that goes to the left of visible light is infrared. That worked pretty well. It's a shame that there isn't an electromagnetic wave with the word violet in it that could go in the box next to violet. Well, there is. It's ultraviolet and it does go in the box to the right of the visible light box. The next thing I remember is that R for red are for radio. Radio is the longest electromagnetic wave. It can be longer than a football field. Because radio is the longest wave, it goes in the box on the far left, where the waves are the longest. I then remember that gamma rays are the shortest electromagnetic wave, so that goes in the box on the far right. Next to gamma is another wave with a very short wavelength, it's X-rays. Slightly longer than gamma rays, but still very short wavelength. That just leaves one wave missing, which is microwaves and that goes in the final box. The seven electromagnetic waves are arranged in order of wavelength, frequency and energy. Waves that have a long wavelength have a low frequency and a low energy. This is because as their frequency increases, that means they vibrate more times per second, which means they are more energetic. So higher frequency means higher energy. Harmful effects of electromagnetic radiation. Microwaves can cause internal heating of body cells. Infrared burns your skin. Intense visible light can cause damage to your eyes. Ultraviolet can cause sunburn damage to skin cells, which can cause skin cancer. X-rays and gamma rays can both cause damage to cells inside your body causing cancer. If you understand the dangers of electromagnetic waves and you take precautions to minimise the risks, then electromagnetic waves have some pretty useful uses. Uses of electromagnetic waves depend on their specific properties. Radio waves can be used for TV and radio. Microwaves can be used for cooking, mobile phones and communicating with satellites. Infrared waves can be used for remote controls, cooking, infrared cameras, detecting people's heat patterns in the dark. Particularly useful for firemen if trying to find someone in a smoke-filled room. Visible light is used in photography. Ultraviolet is used for security, such as checking for counterfeit money and sunbeds. X-rays can be used for checking for broken bones at hospitals and looking inside luggage at airports. Gamma rays can be used for sterilizing food and medical equipment and detecting and treating cancer. 
The use of a mnemonic to help you learn the order of electromagnetic waves in the electromagnetic spectrum is very useful. Mnemonics have been proven in studies to help you memorize information more effectively. Theories suggest that humans can only hold a limited amount of information in our short-term memory. So, grouping information together allows us to memorize larger amounts of information. Also, the brain is quirky in the way it likes to work. So the more random the mnemonic, the better, as it has more chance of being processed into your long-term memory than a boring mnemonic would. Saying the mnemonic out loud also helps, as studies show that this works better than saying it silently to yourself in your head. The order of the electromagnetic spectrum can be remembered with this mnemonic. Real money is viral, use Xbox games. Or another one, ride my invisible vehicle, use x-ray glasses. See if you can come up with a mnemonic of your own. Are you going to edit that bit out? Uh, well, I, I might do, I might not. Or do you think I should leave it in like? Yeah! yeah. 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 Right, see it to Northern. Yeah.